All right, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Z Jax uh, playing Genshin uh, Impact, and um, I'm actually doing this video about the new card game that they have out, the the uh, TCJ or TCG or whatever it is. Anyway, this card game is actually pretty Let's fun go. and plays almost the same way that uh, Genshin itself plays. You got elemental reactions, you got attacks. The difference is you have dice rolls, and the dice rolls affect what you can do in each round. Um, and so, uh, for me, it's super important to be able to, you know, get your best hitters the ideas that they need. Now, this particular one that I'm doing is against Tian. Tian, uh, in Liu, uh, he, he throws out both the ice and the fire, um, abyssal mages, and they start off with shields. So, you have to beat up their shields before you can even actually start doing them damage, just like in the game. Um, so I'm starting off with, uh... Uh, with my man um, Dilute, um, he's going to hit some fire hits on here. He's not going to do any damage to start off with just because, again, we need to kill their shields before we can really do any damage to them. Um, and it's going to take a lot of dice and a lot of actual attacks uh, to be able to get that done. But you still want to hit them because otherwise you don't, uh, you don't kill the shields. So you have to start off right away um, doing those kinds of things and then hoping that you can uh, continue hitting enough to be able to actually do some damage um, or hit them with some extra damage afterwards. Now one of the nice things that I've done about Deluke is once you once you actually beat the player Deluke, um, you can get his cards, as you see the two that I have down there, uh, that allow you to do his blast. Um, it's really difficult to actually be able to get into a position to be able to use some of these things because you have to have three of his fire ones to begin with uh, and that makes it tough now you also did saw just now that i got some extra cards that's because um, when you play against tian you start off with tian's card um, and it allows you to get extra cards uh, each round which is kind of cool all right so here i am again um i'm i'm going to be uh, using the loot probably to try to do some uh, damage up front um, or I may be switching to uh, Fischl. Uh, let me see what I'm going to do here. I think, I think I'm going to give Fischl and uh, Sucrose both of their weapons right off the bat um, while I have the dice uh, to do this the right way. Um, because I don't have the dice to be able to go in and hit this, uh, this guy the way I need to. Um, and so I want to be able to switch it out for him and, uh, and be able to get my damage in. Especially since he switched to the fire user now that uh, the ice user is actually taking some damage. Now the card I just played is when you, um, when you kill a particular guy, uh, it allows you to get extra dice um, for them. Um, and again, as you see, I'm just doing damage to, uh, to spawn their, um, spawn their elemental shields down. Uh, and so we're going to need to do that. I should have probably flipped this to the next, uh, the next character first, because whoever goes first from the opponent's going to kill the loot. Kind of make it a waste for the, uh, for the other cards I have, because right now I don't have any cards to be able to bring a dude back. However, they're both now hit. Um, I do need one more hit against each one of them to be able to kill their shields, but I've got plenty of cards uh, to be able to convert um, bad rolls into electricity rolls. And as you see, I got a ton of fire rolls, which don't do me any good because my bro's out, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch those out, see if I can get some electricity, which I didn't. It's a terrible roll setup. Um, but uh, I will be able to switch some of those dice over. So go ahead and um, play this card. This card allows me to get to use less dice whenever I want to do officials attacks. Uh, and then what I'll have to do is just use some of these to switch out to um, give her uh, more electricity on the dice and, and switch those over. Alright, and then what that one did was it converted two of the elemental energies 
into no uh, the kind that will attack them uh, that, that you can use for anybody. And as you can see, with that attack, um, the shield went down on the ice user and another attack went against the shield on the fire user, uh, which makes it uh, a little more vulnerable at this point. And what I'm trying to do right now is just get one more attack in uh, from Fischl before the end of this round. I think maybe I need to switch over. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do another attack. Yeah, we're just gonna do a regular attack that does no damage, and that should bring the shield, uh, if not down, very close to being down. All right, let's go ahead and end this. This user, whenever, or this uh, Abyssal Mage, whenever they're ramped up, they hit really hard, um, as we noticed with the Luke. And uh, so one hit can uh, can hit up to six or seven. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I had at least eight on there, because uh, I want to finish this match with at least one uh, at least one card alive, obviously. And hopefully we get some better rolls this time. A little better. All right, now this attack's going to go directly against the uh, the mage. It's going to allow them to get another attack back on us, however. But we switched over to Sucro, so when the attack comes, it'll go against her. And then we can use Sucrose to get um, her hits in. Which is nice because that'll go ahead and take out the ice mage. Now our fire mage is going to attack her, but you can see that he's down. Hitting for nine, by the way. It's freaking terrible. But her normal hit here, Fischl, should be able to just take this guy right out. Just a normal attack. Should be over. Oh, I need one more, uh, I need one more to get the normal attack. Are we going to use that blast just to kill their shield? Yeah, I think we are. Opponent ended their round. That was a mistake. He's going to go first next time, but hopefully his attack won't kill me. Excellent. And he's dead. Sometimes it's just luck. All right, so this is how you play the card game. Um, uh, once you see Prince inside of the uh, Cats Meow and Monstead, uh, you can grab, you know, start getting the cards and actually start playing the game. Um, but if you like these kind of videos, uh, let me know. I'll produce more of them, and uh, you can see them. So thanks. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.